up you guys it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel so for today's video I am finally 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 sharing my go-to makeup look first of all y'all it has been forever since I have actually sat down um, and actually filmed a video for you guys it's been a while but I have promised you guys my go-to makeup look and today I delivered this is a look here that I do all the time <laughs> I always get questions especially on Instagram about my makeup and I always say that I do the same look non-stop I, I don't know the last time I've actually done a look that is not this look in terms of like getting you know all dolled up this has been my go-to lately I feel like I used to be like so creative with like trying new looks and new colors and things like that and I just feel like my makeup style has just changed or transitioned shall I say um, over the years and I feel like now I'm just such a classic glam kind of girl don't get me wrong I do still love a good smoky eye um, I do love still plain in color every now and then but for the most part I like to keep it simple I feel like the simpler the better this is pretty much what I do all the time <laughs> and I love it because it's just such a simple easy look that can literally go with everything hope you all enjoy my current go-to makeup routine it's super Super simple super easy and if you guys do enjoy it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll go ahead and shut up and stop rambling and hop right into the tutorial all right you guys so I'm starting off with a fresh face um, I you guys know I love to typically apply a little bit of setting spray to my face before I go ahead in with moisturizer for moisturizer I'm using one of my holy grails this is the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream and ugh, it is so moisturizing so it's like the best prep product and then from there i'm taking my other holy grails the milk makeup hydro grip primer as well as the milk makeup blur sticks to prime my skin you guys know that i typically use two primers one to of course to fill in my pores and then the other to like really lock in that makeup throughout the day this is actually a new step that I just added to my routine. It's by taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Powder and actually setting my face with that first before foundation. And I've noticed that it actually helps to control my oils. So I definitely recommend trying this out if you are an oily girl like me. For foundation, I am using one of my new favorite foundations. It's the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever foundation and you guys this foundation is amazing because to me it's it's more of like a medium coverage it is buildable though but it gives the most natural skin like finish um that is just beautiful it doesn't feel cakey it doesn't feel heavy it's like the perfect amount of coverage but it still gives you like a really skin like finish which i love and with this foundation, I find that it works the best if you actually use less foundation and just more concealer to actually spot treat. So I actually go in with like one, one and a half pumps of foundation, apply it all over, and then I'll go in and spot treat any areas that need a little bit more coverage with a skin tone concealer. And I just use the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 10. Now to go in and highlight, I'm gonna take the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 15 and apply that under my eyes, a bridge of my nose, forehead, Cupid's bow, corners of my mouth, and also my chin area. And I like to kind of fan it a little bit just to get it really nice and tacky because I find that if it dries down just a little bit, it actually provides more coverage and gives me that really flawless finish. So that's what I go ahead and do. And of course, blend it out with a beauty blender. And I also apply a little bit right below my cheekbone just to really accentuate that and kind of make it pop even more and of course just take your time to blend 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 and so the next one take my holy grail laura mercier setting powder and it's applying a thin layer of that under my eyes well actually pretty much everywhere that i applied the concealer if you guys have watched my videos recently then you guys well not recently but in the past then you guys know that i recently transitioned to a new technique where i actually apply a super thin layer of powder first and then i'll go in and bake if i need to because i find that if i apply a thin layer of powder on top of the concealer it actually sets perfectly and then i go in and set my entire face with the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Powder. I apply that all over to of course set the foundation and keep me from getting oily. 
And then I go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, the powder contour kit, and then just really use that to bronze up the skin. I honestly have no idea what the name of these actual powders are, but um, just find the perfect bronzer for you that gives your skin the perfect amount of warmth. And I apply that to my forehead, cheekbone, and also my nose. Now, for my brows, you guys know I have been loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Chocolate. I have been using this for over a year now, and I am literally <laughs> obsessed with this brow product because it makes do my brows so easy. So you all know that when it comes to my brows, I typically outline the bottom, then the top, and then lightly fill in the center of my brows. I love to use soft hair-like strokes to really fill it in. So it's not too harsh or too overdone. And as you all can see, it leaves the most perfect natural brow finish, which I like. And then to actually clean up under my brows, I do not use concealer, you guys. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil in the shade Base 3. It's a super easy way to clean up my brows. I just apply it right underneath the brows and then use my fingers to blend it out. And I mean, it literally takes like five seconds. So <laughs> that's why I love it so much. Okay, now I'm taking that same bronzer. Actually, I'm taking the darkest shade in that Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, the darkest brown shade, and I apply that all over my lid. I love, love, love to add a little bit of warmth to my eyelids just to kind of make my eyes pop a little bit without overdoing it. So I'll just take that dark brown shade and apply it all over with a fluffy brush and of course blend out the edges so there are no harsh lines. And then of course you can't forget clear brow gel because that is a must when it comes to doing my brows. I love to set my brows in place with a clear brow gel. Now for my blush, I really have kind of been swapping between this one, which is my, my OG, the Milani Curl Cove Blush, and also the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trios. I love those as well. They're really good quality. I'm just popping a little bit of blush on my cheeks as well as a little bit of highlight on my forehead, my nose, and my um, inner corners of my eyes. You all will notice that I actually stopped applying highlight to my cheekbones. I really have no idea why I stopped doing that, but I don't do it anymore. I just love that more natural finish. So I apply the highlight and then I'm gonna go in of course with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Apply that underneath my eyes with a beauty blender just to really brighten up that under eye area and make that area pop and just look really flawless and airbrushed. Now for the lashes, I'm using the Ilore Line and Lash Lash Kit. And essentially what it is, is it's a pair of lashes that actually come with a pin that's also lash adhesive. So it makes it super easy to apply lashes because you just essentially take the pin and line your upper lash line, let that adhesive dry for a few seconds and then just pop the lashes on and it makes it so easy. I don't know, that, that pin applicator is just so easy to use and I have been loving it. For mascara, I'm using the Laura Mercier Caviar Mascara, just to really, you know, of course, blend in my natural lashes with the falsies and also applying it to my bottom lashes just to make them pop. Now for lips, I'm using my Holy Grail MAC Cork Lip Liner, applying that first to my lips to, you know, add a little bit of a soft brown liner. And then for today's liquid lipstick, I'm using one of my new favorites. It's the Supernatural Liquid Lipstick by Dosa Colors. I love this nude color because it's not like a brownie nude, but it's also not like a pink nude. It's like right in the middle. And I just really love how it looks on my skin complexion. So um, I've been really loving that lately. And then after I apply that, I go in with the MAC Chestnut Liner to further define my lips, make them really pop. All right, you guys, so once I go ahead and take off my scarf, <laughs> change clothes, get myself together, here is the final look, as you all can see. It's like the perfect, classic, go-to glam look. I mean, it's perfect for any occasion. So hope you all enjoyed it. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.
Bye, guys.